You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Live. If you are watching on YouTube, hit subscribe. If you are listening on podcast, make sure you also subscribe. We are available anywhere people like to get their podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, Anchor, CastBox. The list keeps going. And now we are on podcast. Make sure you hit subscribe. And we're going to get to this story. As you guys know, here on Black and White Live, we are covering Mac Jones pretty extensively because I am... Matrix is a Cowboys fan. I am a 49ers fan. I have been on record saying, look, we're following the Patriots. We're following the Buccaneers. We're following the Niners. We're following... Uh, the quarterbacks that came out of the draft, and I was a massive believer in Mac Jones. You will find out when I do my Tier 4 NFL quarterback rankings, but I was high on Mac Jones. I think the 49ers may have made a massive mistake for a number of different reasons, and now a veteran, long-time ESPN reporter tied in with the Patriots has come out and said something that should send a chill down the spine of all 49ers fans. And if you rooted for Trey Lance or Justin Fields to get drafted, you deserve this. You deserve this because Mac Jones was plug-and-play ready for the NFL, particularly with a coach like Kyle Shanahan or Josh McDaniels somebody that knew what they was doing and ran a sound offense that was quarterback friendly, the Patriots are about to be a force to be reckoned with in the AFC East maybe as soon as this year again. And this article is, I mean, it should frighten 49ers fans. ESPN reporter believes Patriots will be sending A big thank you note to the 49ers for passing on Mac Jones. He's made a strong first impression, according to Mike Reese. Mike Reese has been covering the Patriots forever. ESPN's Mike Reese believes there's a strong chance that the Patriots have found their long-term answer at quarterback and Mac Jones. Quote, I believe the Patriots will be sending a big thank you note to the San Francisco 49ers on passing on Jones. With the number three overall pick, he slid all the way to New England at 15 and has made a strong first impression on coaches and players. Earlier this offseason, Reese detailed how the Patriots were perceiving Jones, as we know a ton of teammates love the hell out of Mac Jones. Reese said that the Buffalo Bills currently have the best three-year outlook in the AFC East. But Jones' promise could potentially shrink the gap. If Jones emerges as the QB of the future, as the Patriots are confident he can, New England's three-year outlook could threaten Buffalo's. He didn't specify whether he thinks Jones will start at any point this year. Reese said he thinks the Bills still have the overall edge this season. But he does believe the margin between Buffalo and New England has decreased. He said the Bills are still a game or two better than the next team. Are you sure because of Belichick? The Bills finished 13-3, Dolphins 10-6, Patriots 7-9, Jets 2-14. And And we know the Patriots made a lot of offensive moves in the offseason, particularly at tight end and at wide receiver to get some much-needed skill talent that they did not have. And what I would say about this season and the Patriots, Dante Hightower is coming back after opting out last year. They're going to get several players back after they opted out last year. And this team that was lacking in talent and sorely lacking at even average quarterback play out of Cam Newton, this team still went 7-9 and nine under Bill Belichick. 
Now, if you plug in a quarterback like Mac Jones, which I believe, look, do I think Mac Jones is going to go out there and throw 35 touchdowns? No. But I do believe Mac Jones could go out there and throw 22 touchdowns and five interceptions. That's it. Five interceptions. And hold on to the ball and work the ball down the field and play ball control and will be highly accurate at 77% out of Alabama. Look, I've got a friend that's pretty tied into the SEC. All right, very tied in. And he knew. He told me. He said, look, Rhodes, we knew Mac Jones was better than Tua. Okay? We've known that. It's a thing. It's known in Alabama that Mac Jones was going to be a good NFL quarterback. So, the Patriots may have found their quarterback of the future and the 49ers, and look, part of the equation when I dog the Niners over passing on Jones is the fact that they not only passed on Jones, but they mortgaged the farm to do it. This could be the death knell for Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch. Because let it be known, all right, whether, look, whether Kyle Shanahan made it to a Super Bowl or not, which he did, we need to recognize his other three years have been terrible. They have not been good. He has not gotten good backup quarterback play, which is part of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan's responsibility with the 49ers organization. I love the hiring of these two guys when they got brought into the organization. But the moment I saw this trade come across the ticker, I said, Jesus, that may be catastrophic and may get them punted right out of their job in two years. If this goes like I think it could go. And then when I heard it was Mac Jones that was going to be drafted, I said, holy crap, this has got a chance to work even without all the draft, uh, lost draft picks. And then then everybody, the 49ers fans, got mad. Oh, we're burning down the village. If they pass on Trey Lance or on Justin Fields, and I'm thinking, well, yeah, Trey Lance has got a shot to be a good NFL quarterback, but Justin Fields has got a damn good shot of being just a flat-ass bust. And y'all want to pass on a plug-and-play quarterback coming out of the SEC that can run Kyle Shanahan's offense to perfection? You guys want to pass on that and mortgage the farm on top of it. That wish, that move from my fellow 49ers fans may end up costing Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch their jobs. If Matt Jones, and look, said friend who talked to me about Matt Jones, again, with heavy SEC ties on the inside, he is literally considering placing a bet on the, Super, on, on the Patriots to go to the Super Bowl this year. This year, with Matt Jones as a rookie, he told me, he said, the Patriots are capable of winning 11 to 12 games with Mac Jones. And I was like, you're kidding me. He was like, no. There's a reason why those two wide receivers that came out of Alabama like him so much more than they like Tua. We knew Mac Jones was going to be a 12 to 15 to 18 year starter in the NFL. Tell me what you think, black and white live fans. If you're listening on podcasts, make sure you hit subscribe. If you're watching here on YouTube, also make sure you hit subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Till next. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.